so earlier we learned about protons, neutrons, and electrons. And we know that protons are positively charged, neutrons have no charge, and electrons are negatively charged. And it's important to remember that opposites attract. So, for example, if we have an electron and a proton, they're going to want to be together and attract each other. But if you have two electrons or two protons, um, they're going to repel each other and they're not going to want to be by each other anymore. It's also good to remember that things that are the same also have the same charge. So for example, these two balloons, when rubbed against something, will both have negative charges. Okay? And so we're going to do a little experiment with these two balloons and a piece of string. And I want you to predict what will happen to these two balloons when I place them close together, okay? And what I'm going to start off doing is I'm going to rub the first balloon with my sweater so it gets kind of some of that static electricity. Um, and I'm going to tie it to this string. <coughs> rub it a little bit more just to make sure we have enough. And then I'm going to take the other end of the string and I will tie it around the second balloon. Okay. And I'll do the same thing with this balloon. I'm going to wrap it with my sweater. And now I'm going to lift the balloon up and make sure both sides of the string are even and they're the same length and we're going to see what happens. And as you can see, both of these balloons are negatively charged and so they kind of repel each other and you can't really, they don't want to stay by each other. And so that's what happens when two items have the same electrical charge.